It's almost Halloween! All the monsters and ghouls are coming back to the world of the living! Ladybug and Cat Noir can't wait to celebrate Halloween with Lalaloo! Let's turn an old Enchantables doll into Ladybug! Cover the face with the right shade of acrylic paint. Then paint the hair blue. Cut a wide satin ribbon to make hair. Seal one edge. Glue the hair on. <laughs> make two ponytails and trim the ends. Let's start working on the face. Draw whites of the eyes and big black pupils. First, make outlines with a pencil. Then cover the mask with red acrylic paint and draw black spots, tall eyebrows, and a wide smile. This is some scary makeup. <laughs> paint the arms. Measure the doll on athletic fabric. Make a few pieces. Sew a black dress with long sleeves. Decorate the bottom part of the skirt and shirt cuffs with glittery tulle. Add a belt to the waist. A lacy collar like this is every witch's dream! <laughs> Cut two different circles out of black foam paper. Cut a bigger circle and shape a cone. Glue a wire inside. Cut the smaller circle like this. Bend the cuts inside. Bend the wire to shape the top part. Cover everything with Elmer's glue and sprinkle it with black glitter. Decorate the hat with a satin ribbon and a spider. Ladybug wants to be a witch for Halloween. Don't make me put a curse on you! <laughs> Our superhero is getting ready for a party. My dress is finally ready! Nobody knows that I love preening in front of the mirror. Shh! Don't tell anyone! So that's who took my hat! <laughs> Thanks, kitty! Hmm. <laughs> Make the bottom part of a broom out of small tree branches. Glue branches to a wooden skewer and trim the edge. It's great for sweeping, but a real witch's broom looks a little different. Connect the branches with wire. Add texture with hot glue. Paint every part its own color. Highlight the handle with bronze acrylic paint. Decorate the tail with a ladybug. Now it's a real witch broom! <laughs> a broom like this is a must-have for every witch. And it's ladybug's favorite type of transport. It's time for Cat Noir! Remove the ears from an old Enchantables doll and glue them to the head. Paint the ears black. And then dye it with dry pastels. And we need to trim the ends. All done! Wipe the makeup off with nail polish remover. Add a pair of cat eyes. His eyes are hypnotizing! Draw fur. Darken the area around the eyes. Draw small hairs. And don't forget a big smile. Draw small teeth and a pink nose. This must be the Cheshire Cat. His smile always appears first. Cut the back and the front of a top. Glue the pieces together and add sleeves. Now it's time for pants. Black leather looks great on Cat Noir. Paint the boots to match the outfit. Cats have such soft paws. Turn shoes into bats. Add toy eyes and fangs. It's no wonder bats listen to the Cheshire Cat. Make a tail, cuffs, and a collar out of pipe cleaner. We need a mask made out of felt. Cut openings for eyes and try it on. Welcome our new guest, 
Cheshire Cat Noir. The house is decorated for Halloween. Itsy Bitsy Spider, where are you? I'll take you back to your friends. That's much better. Little bats live here. I'll set them free at midnight. And this is my baby Kwame. He's dressed up for Halloween too. <laughs> Wipe off the LOL doll's makeup with nail polish remover. Draw cat eyes. Add pupils and white spots. Make ears out of light clay. Cover the whole bat with black acrylic paint. Kwame has two sharp fangs. Make three antennas out of wire. Kwame has two huge felt wings. This new look gave Plague one more superpower. Now the Kwame can make ultrasound noises. Plague made friends with a family of bats. Now he's their leader. And the Kwamis discuss their nocturnal adventures in his free time. Turn an LOL little sister into Kwame Tiki. Cover the head with modeling clay. Paint the whole figure red. Draw two big blue eyes. Add eyelashes and a cute smile. Draw a black circle on the head. Glue two pieces of fishing line and paint them to match the body. Tiki looks like a ladybug with his two antennas. This is our first Halloween with Ladybug. I'll make sure everything goes well. A piece of fabric and a thread turn Tiki into a little ghost. Are you scared? Wow, ghosts are everywhere this time of year. They don't know how to scare people yet. But they have time to study before their exam in horror school. They have one night to learn. Cat Noir is waiting for his pot of candy. Trim the excess. Polish it with a nail file. We can make a steady handle for our cauldron out of wire. Make a ball out of light clay. Cut a pumpkin in half and use half as a lid. Add a leaf. This jack-o'-lantern has such a cute smile. Fill it with candy. No wonder Cat Noir got so much candy. Who can say no to the Cheshire Cat? He has a whole chest of candy at home. I'll add this to my collection. I have enough candy for a year. Make a cauldron out of a Kinder Surprise container. Remove a half and make two holes. Add a handle made of wire. Cover the handle with silver paint. Add a few random splashes. Take light clay. We have all four colors. Twist them and put them inside the cauldron. Fill it with decorative candies and cookies. I almost forgot the treats. Ladybug took the cauldron and flew to the party. Ladybug and Cat Noir met their friends before they went trick-or-treating. Are you ready to scare more people? <laughs> it's easy! How about that house? It has really scary decorations! They are really ready to meet some monsters! Ah, maybe monsters already live there! I've heard it's haunted! I saw a shadow! Run! <laughs> It's a ghost! Help! Boo! Let's be friends! It's not easy to get rid of ghosts. Do you believe in ghosts? Comment below. Like our video, subscribe to Lalaloo, and click the bell so you don't miss any of our new videos.